Good afternoon, Apollo Baptist Church family. This is Pastor Brian. Hope you all have good Father's Days. Um, my kids uh, blessed me this morning with some homemade cards. I want to share with you some of the things. This is what Bryson says I look like. Uh, you know what? It's a handsome picture, but uh, the, what stands out to me mostly is the hearts. And that tells me that uh, in his mind that uh, his father loves him. And so uh, that's a success. Uh, my, uh, my daughter wrote something which could probably be taken the wrong way. She says, my favorite thing to do with my dad is drink. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that's probably not what you think it means. But, you know, I, I strive to be a good dad. My, um, my dad was a very good dad. Uh, I don't know how your father was. But I do know our Heavenly Father is always good. And so today I'm going to be reading from Psalm 125, which is part of our Bible reading plan this week. And this is a psalm of ascent. It says, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. Uh, you know, when I think of faith or people of faith, uh, we all you can always think of, of great giants in your church or people that you looked up to. Uh, but even the people with the most faith uh, struggle with faith. Uh, Jesus told his disciples, he, he called them, he said, Oh, ye, ye of little faith. He also said that it took the faith of but a mustard seed to move a mountain. In other words, to do something that we might think otherwise impossible uh, can be done with just a little faith. I think sometimes we put too much uh, faith in our ability to gather up enough faith whatever that means, rather than place our trust in the Lord. Really, one relies on us while the other relies on him. But uh, the psalmist says, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. It cannot be shaken. It endures forever. Mount Zion represents, of course, Jerusalem. Uh, and more specifically, the temple or the presence of God in the midst of, uh, of his people. And, and so what does that tell us? Well, he's saying that like as, as sure as the presence of God is a structure or a foundation uh, for the city of Jerusalem. So God is the center of our faith. Uh, it cannot be moved. We cannot be shaken. Uh, and uh, it endures forever. Just as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forevermore. Uh, one of the things I do as a, a dad is uh, I provide protection for my kids. Oftentimes they say, uh, Dad, I'm scared to go in this dark room. Uh, can you go with me? And uh, so that, that provides them some comfort for their father to walk into that dark room with them. When I look out and I see the mountains surrounding, uh, surrounding my house, uh, it's good for me to reflect on Psalm 125, which, which uh, likens those mountains to God's protection. How long will he protect us? By the way, I think he protects us in the midst of pandemics. Uh, we may get sick, um, but you know what? Our security, our eternal security is his. It's, in, it's firmly in the palm of his hand. And how long will that last? Forever, forever. He says, the scepter of the wicked will not remain. When we make Jesus the Lord of our life, when we, when we make God, uh, when we become his people, uh, it, it is a forever thing. And so we will never, uh, there is no room for the scepter of another. We have to remain focused and faithful to God in our lives. You know, this is a, a, a happy Father's Day for many. Uh, for me, it's a bit sad. My dad is stuck in a skilled nursing facility. I, I can't call him. I can't be with him. Not sure, even if I were, that uh, he would know it was Father's Day or know I was there. Uh, but uh, I recognize that life is very, very short. We're like a vapor. We're here one minute and we're gone the next. So uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, Spend as much time as you can with your family. Enjoy your dads. Dads, enjoy your sons because we don't know uh, 
we we don't have no assurance that we'll even wake up tomorrow. And so and so spend all the time you can and spend quality time with your families. Love you. Have a good week. God bless.